RPG adventures can come in many forms. Maybe your character is looking for a magical artifact in Dragon's Lair at the edge of the kingdom. Maybe they're commanding a spaceship and trying to defend a newly settled planet from alien robot pirates. Or maybe they're an ordinary high school student who hunts demons in their spare time. The one thing that all of these genres have in common is that they all involve near constant danger, and with danger comes at least a slim chance that something or someone will make your character go commit die. And don't get me wrong, this is a good thing. Putting character death on the line gives a constant reason to care about those characters, and it's probably the single easiest way to create a sense of investment in a fantastical world. Pretty much every kind of pure escapist fiction does it, from novels to TV shows, but role-playing games throw in a serious monkey wrench. That wrench being the fact that the universe is governed by random dice rolls. See, in pre-written narratives, authors can at least theoretically strike a balance between creating a sense of danger in their worlds and not actually killing off important characters until they've contributed to the story in a satisfying way. Game masters don't really have that kind of luxury. In an RPG, it's entirely possible for a character to swear an oath of vengeance against an evil warlord whose troops burn down her hometown, and then get eaten by rust monsters before they even see the warlord. This is a necessary evil for the most part. Not only is the bar for good storytelling in RPGs a lot lower than it is for more traditional narratives, but many RPGs provide some sort of safety net to keep players from dying totally unceremoniously, like luck points and resurrection spells. As long as the rest of the party is there for support, characters generally have options if they really want to survive. But if the entire party gets oofed, then there's often no chance of recovery for anyone. You've met the infamous total party kill. A total party kill, or TPK, is fairly rare, but it can happen. The most universal piece of advice I can give to fix the curse of the TPK is just to design balanced encounters. But generally, game masters who are asking for advice on what to do in the event of a TPK have already caused a TPK, which makes that advice pretty tautological and useless. So this video is more of a guide on what to do if you've already run into a TPK, partially because I don't want to limit my audience to a single system. Also, a TPK isn't always the fault of bad encounter design. Sometimes it's the result of PCs entering a difficult fight after they've already exhausted most of their resources, or maybe there's a disruptive player who betrays the party, or maybe everyone just rolls really terribly. It's often a result of multiple of those things at once, but however it happens, all the PCs wind up dead before the story is resolved. So what the hell do you do? For this, I basically have two solutions, the first one being preferable to the second in most cases. This first solution is to provide emergency recovery for some, but probably not all, of the PCs. If anyone succeeds their death saves or otherwise stays alive after being downed, they should be able to survive, period. Instead of outright killing them, the enemy can leave the PCs for dead or drag them back to their lair as prisoners. Even if this isn't completely plausible, you should probably do it anyway. When plausibility comes into conflict with telling a good story and having fun, then you can let it go. If the players are unlucky enough to fail all their death saves, or whatever your system's equivalent is, it'll be a little trickier, but my advice is to choose some of your PCs to get one last chance to get the hell out of here. You really shouldn't let all of them recover unless it's a really lighthearted game, since that would cheapen the impact of this deadly encounter. Although, you could maybe leave everyone alive if you give all of the characters a major setback, like destroying all of their items in an equipment-heavy game like D&D, but that doesn't always make sense. Still, if you know your players well, there's a good chance that at least one of them is excited about playing a backup character, and those players are probably fine with taking the L if it means adding more emotional weight to the campaign. So yeah, most of the time I recommend giving one last chance at escape for a few party members. But I do have a plan B, even though I've luckily never had to use it. I can imagine some scenarios where you really couldn't decide who to save, or when it's completely unbelievable that anyone could survive. Like if the PCs were trying to defuse a nuclear bomb and couldn't beat all the guards before it went kaboom. I've never been in a situation this extreme, but it could definitely happen. In this case, if the players really want to continue the campaign, the best solution, I think, is to just allow a video game style reload from the last save point. By that, I mean treat the last encounter as if it never happened, and just rewind to the last point at which the characters were safe, and give them a chance to basically redo the entire scene. 
Yes, this is immersion breaking, especially if you can't keep it out of character, but I do think it's better than just ending the campaign entirely, or just trying to continue with completely new characters. If you want to justify it in the story, you could even flavor it as some kind of divine intervention or time anomaly. Whatever you decide, you should probably increase the difficulty just a little bit, given that the players have advanced knowledge that they didn't have the first time. Sure, there's a chance that this battle will result in another TPK, but if it does, you've already done it once, so you might as well let the players reload again until they get it right. So yeah, if you ever cause a TPK that can't be solved by any of these methods, then maybe it's time to start a new campaign, but I think I about covered all the bases. Thank you all for watching, if you guys want to see more DMing slash GMing tutorials like this, then like this video, let me know in the comments, let me know in the comments if you have your own way of dealing with TPKs. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.